Hi, this is Representative Rick Larson with this week's weekly recap with Rick. Uh, last week I was on Woodby Island at the Woodby Island Fair, and this week I'm back in Washington, D.C. Uh, to do the recap with Rick. I'm uh, in my office next to my wall with some, uh, with some uh, um, drawings from, uh, from, from kids, uh, a painting drawing from kids, and this one's from my now 20, uh, soon to be 25 year old son, drawn when he was about four or five years old. Uh, Notice the um, uh, five o'clock shadow here. I asked him what that was. He goes, well, well that's, that's what you look like whenever I see you at the end of the day, because he'd never seen me in the morning. Uh, you know, we've only seen me at the end of the day when I had a five or six or a seven o'clock or eight o'clock shadow. So uh, that's what that picture's all about. But uh, this is uh, one, of the, one of the corners of the new office. And hopefully folks will have a chance, uh, once you pass the pandemic, to get out here to Washington, D.C. Uh, to visit our offices and visit the people here who are serving you in the second district. So I want to thank you today, um, or this week marked the 200th day of the 117th Congress. And it's pretty clear to me that uh, the Democratic Party's uh, For the People agenda is working for the people of my district and for Washington State. Give you a flavor of that. Just on the pandemic, we hit 70% of Washingtonians age 16 and over who are now vaccinated and uh, uh, who are, uh, actually initiated the vaccine. 42,600 working families in the second district have received their first monthly uh, expanded child tax credit payment. Uh, people are getting back to work. And in fact, uh, going back to March and April of 2020, the economy last, uh, lost 22.4 million jobs. And as of June of this year, we recovered 15.6 million jobs for 70% of those jobs. So it, it goes to show that things are working, but the economy is recovering and yet not yet recovered. We are defeating the pandemic, but is not yet defeated. And so we still have work to do uh, in Congress and still work to do at home uh, to, for folks. So, so please continue to help your friends, family, get vaccinated. It's critical to continue to defeat, to defeat the pandemic, to get vaccinated. Uh, but to keep the momentum going on the economy, I introduced this week the American Wings Act uh, with uh, Derek Kilmer from our district, uh, from our state, Adam Smith from our state, and Jim Langevin, a colleague of mine from Rhode Island. And the Wing, American Wings Act is to help uh, high school students access in-demand jobs in growing science, technology, engineering, math, uh, industries and industrial sectors. Uh, so we are trying to, again, it's not just about recovery, it's about uh, moving forward from the recovery and setting that foundation for future economic growth and the American Wings Act is gonna help us do that. Earlier this week, as chair of the Aviation Subcommittee, I held a hearing on diversity and equity and inclusion in the aviation industry. And we're gonna do some follow-up with that and one issue we uh, uncovered is that there's just a lack of real valuable um, objective data on the uh, number of uh, uh, folks, uh, people of color and women in, uh, employed overall in the aviation industry. And we need to understand what the data says so we can move forward on trying to solve some of these, uh, some systemic problems uh, in the uh, employment opportunities in the aviation sector for the growing, growing uh, uh, diverse employment base and population that we have here in our country. This week we also supported, I also voted for several bills, including a, a bill to help you all get your money back from scammers. Um, that bill passed the House. We curbed the flow of harmful PFAS chemicals, these forever chemicals that are in our environment. We passed legislation in the House and sent that off to the Senate and, uh, and passed the Allies Act. The Allies Act is to protect Afghan nationals and their families who helped the U.S. effort in Afghanistan uh, through their support working side by side with U.S. forces. This will expand the number of uh, uh, visas that will be able to get used to get uh, Afghan nationals uh, out of harm's way for the Taliban perhaps looking to um, punish these folks for helping us uh, and get them out of, the, uh, out of Afghanistan uh, to safety. And next week uh, we're going to consider several bills, the appropriation bills in Congress, which includes uh, $10 million specifically designated for projects uh, throughout the second congressional district. And we'll have more on that uh, next week on the next recap with Rick. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll be in DC uh, next week 
and we'll do the recap with Rick from Washington, D.C. again next week and hopefully some news about um, how we're continuing to move this country forward on transportation, on infrastructure, on ensuring that the economy continues to emerge and that we continue to defeat the pandemic. Thanks a lot.